Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am having birria ramen and tacos, so let's dig right in because I'm starving. All right, so I know I just had birria ramen like a week ago, but this one I was able to watch it be made and it was homemade and these tacos were made right in front of me as well. So I'm so excited. They look freaking delicious. All right, so I'm gonna go into the ramen first because I don't want the noodles to get too soggy. So I already definitely see the difference in the broth consistency compared to the other birria ramen that I got from Freshco Kitchen last week. And this one is thicker and it's also less oily, which I can truly appreciate because <laughs> Sometimes the oil be getting me, you feel me? First bite. Oh my gosh. The broth is so freaking rich. It's very deep, like it takes you in. Yes, lime. So I'm gonna just add a little bit. Look at the tenderness of the meat, you guys. Yes. All right, let's get into the tacos. So these were grilled right in front of me and they are gonna have that really crispy texture. I love the cheese inside. Am I freaking lost for words? I have not had birria tacos with cheese inside and oh my gosh, it makes such a difference.
I feel like the noodles are really soaking up the broth right now. So I gotta hurry. I really, really do appreciate how less oily it is. Though oil does provide more flavor, but then it does like leave me with this like, I just get overwhelmed with it way faster than if it was just a little bit less oily, you know? Wow, just wow. Mm. All right, I do need a drink of water. Whew. The noodles are getting me quite quickly. <laughs> I feel like I just got a burp. That's all I got to do right now. <laughs> mm. Excuse me. Uh. Excuse me. All right, so I covered one of my burps and then let one out. So none of you guys better to come for me for covering or not covering my burps, okay? Let me take my little break. So, I got these tacos and this ramen from LB Tacos on Instagram. And he does catering to parties and he'll be your taco man for whichever events that you would like some bomb tacos at. All right, so today is the new moon in Gemini. And I really underestimated how it was gonna make me feel. I really just thought I was gonna wake up normal but I woke up in like just full-on severe anxiety and I haven't had that in quite some time so I was just like oh my gosh I had to I was like supposed to do so much stuff this morning before this mukbang but I didn't because I just want to remind everybody to take it easy on yourself because the next the past couple days and the rest of the rest of the week it's just gonna have a lot of energy and like unsettling I would say but yeah, I just pushed through. I honestly didn't even want to do a mukbang <laughs> just to be straight up, but I'm glad I did it. Sometimes you just got to push through the uncomfortable feeling. Mm.
Oh my gosh, you guys. I am getting stuffed. So, if you cannot, not if you cannot, but if you prefer to not get uncomfortably full, don't eat both of these <laughs> or share it because these tacos are actually quite filling. Like, they don't look like they would be, but they are. I feel like if I just got the tacos by itself, I could eat maybe four, just four, because he be stacking the meat in there. And then the ramen is already full within itself. Like, oh my gosh. Mm -mm -mm. He's actually cooking more outside. <laughs> so I can share. All right. I think I gotta kind of finish it here. I also have to say it could be my anxiety that's kind of preventing me from eating as much as I usually do, but that's okay, all right? Everything's okay. We just got to go through the notions of how we feel, you know? And I did not mean for this mukbang to get into all those feelings and <laughs> talks about feelings, but I think it's freaking important to validate yourself and to take care of yourself and not sometimes push yourselves on days where you already aren't feeling 100, okay? So, let's go into the rating of this meal. Five. Five out of five. The tacos are, like, they just exceeded my expectations. Like, I did not think they were going to be that bomb. I kind of, I think I'm going to tell him that we got to make some salsas or have some salsas on the side because I think dipping these tacos in the salsas could do could make a huge difference and then add like a little oomph of flavor right and the beer ramen no complaints at all i just am way too full <laughs> but also i also feel like with beer ramen it's best it's like a mate well maybe because i'm just obsessed with cilantro but i am just very very obsessed with cilantro and if i could i'd be like putting like two handfuls of cilantro in this, in this ramen. But I just feel like it adds like such a subtle but strong flavor at the same time. You guys know what I mean? <laughs> All right guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, make sure to like and subscribe. Also turn on push notifications. And I'll see you next time. Peace.